What's up, MMA fans? It's Tudor Lente from Sherdog here, and today I'm with UFC lightweight contender, Mr. Mr. Guram Kutateladze. Hello, Guram, and welcome on Sherdog. How are you? Hello, Sherdog. Hello, Tudor. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Um, listen, uh, where are you right now? Is, uh, you have a really nice location uh, behind you. Yes, this is uh, my uh, my own dojo, uh, my own uh, club or gym, dojo, school. <laughs> it's uh, called House of Samurai. Uh, it's uh, not far away uh, from uh, Malmo, Lund, uh, the small city, small town Lund uh, in Sweden. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm a part owner of this place and uh, having. And at the evening, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach uh, the class. I'm gonna hold the class for my students. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> are, are, gym, are, are gyms uh, open in uh, in Georgia right now? Is it possible, you know, for uh, for people to train? I am in Sweden just right now. That's where I live. Uh, yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, in Sweden, in Sweden. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Yeah. No problem, no problem. So, and in Sweden, as you know, it's uh, Sweden. Sweden live, Sweden lives by a little bit different rules, <laughs> COVID rules. So, uh, yeah, of course, here is some restrictions we we have to follow, but uh, it's uh, not so hard as in in other countries. You know, with the masks and the lockdowns and the stuff like this. So, yeah. Yeah, actually, I got confused because I wanted to ask you when was the, the last time you visit uh, Georgia and uh, the fact that, uh, you know, Georgia and Sweden, the, the, the name of the countries overlapped. Sorry. Uh, no, no problem. Uh, I've been in Georgia like uh, uh, maybe maybe two months. I, I don't really remember. I have always problems with <laughs> remembering my travels and so on. So uh, uh, I think like two months ago, um, no, excuse me. Yeah, in January. I was there in January on New Year and uh, visit my parents, my relatives, my friends. And uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, listen, you faced Mateusz Gamrot uh, in your UFC debut. Uh, you won a split decision that, uh, that day. But as far as I remember, you weren't very happy about the, the result after the fight. Uh, why was that? Uh, yes, uh, my debut against Gamrot was, uh, was a tough fight. Um, Gamrot is a tough fighter. Uh, big respect to Gamrot. And I, I, I would like to use this opportunity to congratulate him with his last win. I, I watched the fight, so it's very good for him uh, it was impressive win good knockout um, and uh, yeah our, and what about our fight um, it was a good fight we, we we did a great show i think it was not i think it was fight of the night and i think we even get like a um, like kind of fight of the month or something like this um, so uh, that's that tells a lot about our performance uh, together, um, but I was not. I wasn't happy with my performance, so um, and with my result, because uh, I think I can do better than that, and I could not show myself my potential 100%. But hopefully, in my next upcoming fight, I, I will be able to do that. Uh, you told me that you watched uh, uh, Gamrot's uh, recent victory over, over Scott Holtzman at UFC uh, on ABC2. Um, wh what do you think about that, that performance uh, of, of him? And uh, do you believe that his victory actually puts you in a better light, you know, given the fact that he stopped his opponent? Uh, I don't really think about these kind of things. I'm just happy for the for the guy that he bounced back so strong. Uh, so um, that's it, you know, and uh, not more than that. I don't really think about uh, that it puts me in a better light or worse light. So uh, 
I'm just happy for him that uh, after uh, loss, um, he he showed himself and he bounced back. And especially being like undefeated like he was before he met me, um, it's 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 hard to take, you know. But uh, that that only shows that he's mentally very strong and that this thing doesn't break him, and he 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 came back very strong. Uh, do you feel like you and Gamer uh, will meet again in the future? Yeah, I think so. And uh, maybe maybe a little bit further, you know, in the rankings. Uh, we'll have to claim the rankings or I will have to claim in rankings. And uh, uh, then, uh, then uh, if he's going to be there, you know, so and then we're going to meet for sure. So, Lisa, recently I noticed that you had a beef uh, with UFC newcomer Paddy Pimblett on uh, social media. Uh, what, what's going on uh, between the, the two of you? I didn't really have any beef. The guy just went crazy. You know? I, I don't have any beef with anybody. Um, it, it doesn't really worth it. My time and my energy and my attention. Uh, I just challenged the guy because I wanted the fight, you know, and uh, uh, and that's it. But uh, he started like a trash talk and so on and uh, start talking about uh, different things, uh, everything around fighting and outside of the fighting, you know, so uh, that's uh, that is not ex accepted, you know, and this is this is something uh, disrespectful and uh, uh, very well, how you can say it, very, yeah, uneducated and uh, very low action, you know, the things he said and the things he he's talking and speaking uh, out of his mouth, the words coming out, that, that, that comes out from his mouth, you know, it's something unacceptable. And just as a human being, leave the fighting, leave everything, you know, it's, uh, but uh, I can understand something probably is wrong with his head, you know, and, uh, uh, in his mind, he, like uh, he's probably like nine or ten years old, so uh, I don't know what he was doing before, or how he was raised, and with whom he was raised. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, you know. The things he say about the country and about people and about war between Georgia and Russia is uh, something um, that you 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 don't accept you know and hopefully one day we're gonna meet in the cage and uh, i can show him and punish him for for his words because he has to take responsibility for the words he's saying and uh, uh, not like you know it doesn't worth uh, meeting him in the street you know and disrespect the organization and do this uh, childish things you know you're we are adult people he is a kid, but uh, me as an adult, I should not go to his level and just uh, do it professional way. And hopefully one day I'm going to meet him and punish him for everything he said about me, my manager, my country, my people, and etc. Do you believe he went too far in uh, talking about the relationship, uh, you know, between uh, Russia and Georgia and all the politics going on between uh, those uh, two countries? Absolutely, yes. And, um, you know, do, uh, are you, you know, are you actually um, um, challenging him to, you know, to fight is something that you would like, a fight with him is something that you would like to pursue, um, you know, in case of victory of yours or in case of victory of, uh, um, like um, now it's uh, excuse me can you repeat the question please yeah sorry sorry about that uh, no, I, would like to, <laughs> I, I would like just to ask you if uh, you know um, in case of victory you would like you know to to launch him the, the challenge and, and face him next you know uh, face him you as mean soon Next yeah. fight, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, it, I get my fight, you know, and I'm happy with that. But uh, of course, if if UFC gonna give me 
like first of all i take step by step you know i don't think now now i have this um this fight this upcoming fight that i have to and then my opponent i have to go through him you know and uh, i don't want to disrespect uh mr don maj you know any any way and uh, look through him you know he is a guy i have to go through you know and so on and uh, we have to take it from there you know first i have to get my win there and then uh, we're gonna see uh, will i get uh, this kid or whoever it doesn't matter you know and uh, but i don't really think uh, organization gonna give me uh, him as a next my next opponent because they probably gonna build him up uh, as a hyped kid you know like kind of new superstar uh, they would like to make him but um, i don't really care about this you know it's uh, in the end of the day it doesn't matter how many followers on instagram you have and how many how many people is following you and sharing for you or whatever how much you talk when cage is closed it's it doesn't matter there you know yeah, um, last topic I would like to discuss with, with you actually is your upcoming fight. Uh, you are now scheduled to face uh, uh, Dan Mage. Um, have you already started to, to watch his tale of the tape? Have you already studied your opponent? I know that you were already, you know, you should have already met uh, in the cage back in March. Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, we're supposed to meet, meet before, but... Uh, after i had some health issues and i think he had something um so uh, but now we we had our we have our fight scheduled and uh, uh, i'm happy for my return in the octagon um, and uh, i've seen i i've seen few a few of his uh, fights but not really like looked into it you know this i leave just right now in my coach's hands and my team's hands you know and they're taking care of it uh, they're watching and studying the the fights and so on and um, i'm just preparing you know i'm just doing my thing and uh, but later on i'm, I'm gonna watch a little bit and uh, uh, yeah but uh, I know he's a high-quality fighter, he, he, he's a good striker, he's a, a good grappler and so on, quite all around, but neither uh, so am I, you know. Uh, and uh, in my opinion, I'm much higher level and in the striking and on the ground and uh, wrestling-wise and uh, uh, whichever aspects uh, you want to take. So uh, I'm much higher, higher level level than uh, all all these guys so that's why my main thing is not my opponent but the belt um you you announced uh, you know on your social media that you had to pull out of that fight due to a knee injury uh, i'd like to ask how was the you know the surgery and the the, the recover after that thank you so much uh, first of all and then um, uh, yeah, knee surgery. I, I did. Uh, I did my surgery on meniscus and uh, um, recovery went well. And I'm uh, uh, I'm still nowadays doing my uh, rehabilitation and rehab and uh, making my knees and my legs stronger than ever before. Um, and uh, in the same time, preparing for the fight. Uh, this, to say the truth, does not interfere my preparation because uh, i can do already uh, everything so um, uh, yes but uh, surgery went well and uh, rehab went well too so uh, now we're in the fight mode sir before i let you go do you have any last messages you know for your fans for your next opponent in general uh, the last question is a free space <laughs> thank you uh just want to thank all the supporters that uh, follow me you know on social medias and uh, following my career it means a lot and i really appreciate it um and uh, next event next uh, upcoming my next upcoming fight uh, gonna be a big show so uh, 
I'm going to deliver, we're going to deliver and uh, uh, follow it and watch it. Watch me. Let's go. <laughs> Sir, thank you very much for your time and best of luck uh, with uh, your upcoming fight. I'm re really looking forward, you know, to, to see you again competing in the octagon. Thank you so much, Tudor. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Goodbye. The same, the same. Bye.